Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Why does the United States continue to expand its chip ban on China at the expense of the interests of its own chip companies, even at the risk of the death of chip globalization? The fundamental reason is that the United States wants to bring back the advanced chip manufacturing industry and at the same time does not want China to develop in the chip field and snatch orders from American chip giants. In order to restrict the development of Chinese chips, the United States can be said to have exhausted all means, but what Biden did not expect is that ASML, Japanese companies, and American companies have announced one after another that the scale of revenue from the Chinese market has risen rapidly. It is obvious that the U.S. equipment export control ban has expired. As we all know, in October 2022, the United States restricted American equipment manufacturers from shipping semiconductor equipment to chip factories in mainland China. Not only were Chinese companies' wafer factories restricted from introducing American equipment, but even Samsung, SK Hynix, and other companies' chip factories in the Chinese market were also restricted. Since then, the United States has joined forces with Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the shipment of a variety of semiconductor equipment. Basically, semiconductor equipment with a process of 38 nanometers and below is now restricted from shipping to the Chinese market. The purpose of the U.S. move is also very clear, that is, to win over allies, through the model of small courtyards and high walls, restrict Chinese companies from obtaining help from the international chip industry chain, and start with equipment, in order to lock China's chips in the 14 nanometers process. But it is obvious that, as ASML's former president Wen Kenning said, the United States restricts Chinese companies from obtaining semiconductor equipment, and the Chinese market, which has a high demand for equipment, will only adopt a Chinese breakthrough approach. To put it bluntly, the more restrictions the United States imposes, the faster China's breakthroughs in related fields will be. What's more, for semiconductor companies, revenue is the fundamental purpose. The ban on Chinese chips is to safeguard the interests of the United States, but it is indeed damaging the interests of semiconductor companies. It is precisely for this reason that major semiconductor equipment manufacturers have chosen to turn around. Although they have not openly violated the U.S. equipment export control ban, they have begun to seek various shipping channels. This includes not only non-U.S. semiconductor equipment manufacturers such as Nikon, Canon, Tokyo Electron in Japan, and ASML in the Netherlands, but also U.S. equipment manufacturers such as KLA Tenka, Applied Materials, and LAM Research. According to public data, Nearly half of the revenue of Japanese semiconductor equipment manufacturers comes from the Chinese market, with a year-on-year -year growth of 82%. The revenue of Tokyo Electronics, a well-known Japanese semiconductor equipment company, from mainland China has reached 46.9%, and the revenue of ASML, a Dutch lithography machine giant, from the Chinese market in the first quarter of this year has further increased to 49%. At the same time, the revenue share of American equipment manufacturers, such as KLA Tenka and LAM Research Group from mainland China has also increased further and is also close to 50%. These companies are basically the world's top semiconductor equipment companies. The revenue share from the Chinese market continues to increase, which means that in the field of semiconductor equipment, the scale of the Chinese market is now difficult for major semiconductor equipment companies to ignore. 
According to the data previously disclosed by the International Semiconductor Organization, Nearly 33% of the global demand for semiconductor equipment comes from the Chinese market. From the current situation, this data may have increased again. This also means that if major semiconductor equipment companies really give up the Chinese market completely in accordance with the requirements of the ban, then the competition in the semiconductor equipment field will become more and more fierce and the revenue scale of major equipment manufacturers will also shrink rapidly. Behind the strong demand for semiconductor equipment is actually the rapid development and capacity growth of China's chip industry chain. It is not difficult to see from the public data that China's chip production capacity has entered a period of explosive growth. In the first quarter of 2024, China's chip production capacity increased by 40%. If it continues to develop at this rate, China's chip production capacity will further increase, which not only means that China's chip localization is accelerating, but also means that China's chip share and importance in the global semiconductor supply chain will continue to increase. Under this circumstance, if the United States continues to insist on the chip ban on China, it is very likely that China will create a chip supply chain independent of Europe and the United States. For chip semiconductor companies in the United States and the West, this is naturally an undesirable situation. After all, this not only means that competition in the international market will be further intensified, but also means that nearly half of the market will be lost. After all, from the current situation, the chips produced in China have not only been recognized by a large number of Chinese users in the Chinese market, but also in emerging markets such as Southeast Asia, Latin America, Africa, and Central Asia. The market share continues to expand. In fact, the reason why major semiconductor equipment companies try every means to ship to the Chinese market is not to help the development of Chinese chips. On the one hand, they cannot let go of such a huge market size, and on the other hand, they are also worried that Chinese companies will accelerate Chinese substitution after the shipment restriction. After the US chip ban, Many Chinese companies have realized the importance of mastering core technologies. Now China's chip industry chain is constantly developing in terms of technology and process. It can even be said that there is hope to change the global chip industry chain. Please like if you agree, and welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.